Take care of your kids. That's the point of my show. <laughs> Sorry if that got lost along the way. I started there. I have a kid. Take care of your kids. That's the point of it. You're the real teacher in their life. You as a parent, you are the real teacher. I know we send them to school, and those people are called teachers, and those are necessary people. We need them. But those are guides, really. I mean, they guide them from here to here, pass the baton, from here to here, pass the baton. And there's quotas, and there's promotions, and there's other things involved that influence where that kid ends up sometimes, right? Kid gets an F. What do they do? Give them the next assignment, move on. They don't teach you how to get that F into an A. They just move you on to the next thing. Here, do it, and we'll put you through. And that doesn't happen in any other facet of life. You don't go to a day job, and they're like, hey, Vince, file all these files. And I go in there, fuck it all up, and they're like, ugh, that's no good. Let's go do payroll. Come Come on, let's go over here. <laughs> There's got to be a guiding operating system, right? You have to do that as a parent. That's your job, your values, your beliefs, your words. Right, wrong, and different are what stick with them because they mock you. And, and that's what you need to do. It. I was late to the game in having kids in my inner circle of friends, right? I had a kid later than most of them. And much like anything else in this world, when you do something for a day longer than someone else, you get to talk down to them about it. So all my friends get to offer me unsolicited advice about kids. Like, how old's your kid? Oh, he's two, all oh, the terrible twos, right? You're like, no, I think my kid's pretty great, actually. I don't know what they may well, oh, at two, they do get kind of terrible. I, I think there's something wrong with your kid. My kid actually is kind of maybe go pay attention to him and get away from my business and he'll stop crying out for your attention. Maybe you would be such a shitty kid then. I don't know what to tell you, but they all just offer this advice. Oh, he's two. He's approaching the why stage. And you're like, well, well, what's that? And he's like, oh, this is when they ask why incessantly over and over and over. They annoy you and everything's why, 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 why. But don't worry, they grow out of it. And you're like, wow, I'd actually be more worried if he did grow out of that stage because I think asking why is such an undervalued thing in this country. I think you should be forced to ask why over and over and over again if you don't understand something keep digging to the root cause analysis of it if, if you're sitting there talking to your kid and he gets to the ninth why and you run out of answers that's because you were trying to bullshit a three-year-old <laughs> and he just called you out on it if you don't know the answer you can tell him you don't know the answer you, you don't have to be a super parent with a cape and know everything you can just say i don't know and if you don't want to answer him you tell him i don't want to answer this anymore. But you don't sit there and hope he grows out of it, try and bullshit him and show him the shiny red object over here. <laughs> Ask why over and over and over. You'll both stumble across some learnings in there. Hey, hey we got to go to your aunt's house this year for Easter. Well, well, why? Because every other year we switch between our house and your aunt's house. And, well, why? Because your aunt's a bitch and she feels <laughs> the whole family should have to drive an hour 43 to go see her, even though the rest of us are centrally located right here. Well, well, why? I don't know, because nobody will go see her any other time of the year, I guess. <laughs> well, why? Because she's kind of a whore, let's be honest. <laughs> Every time we're over, there's a new dude, we're trying to remember names, we're mixing it up, she's got problems. Well, well, why? I think she was molested by her brother, if you want my honest opinion about it. Well, why? I don't know. He's bipolar. Or he likes men when it gets cold. I forget what the condition is that he's got, but you know how when he's over on Thanksgiving and he fingers the turkey and moonwalks it across the table? That's not normal. He wants to keep asking. I'm going to keep answering. I didn't think about half this shit, though. He brought it up. We both get to do a little bit of soul searching in here today.